Welcome back to another session with me, Monica. Today we will be working on how to release maybe negative emotions, negative thoughts from a bad day. Perhaps you feel frustrated or just a rush of energy in your head. Your body feels tight. And all you want to do is maybe punch something or scream. And your patience level is just very, very minimal. So how to turn that around? Simply close your eyes right now and envision yourself in your happy place. Where is it that you feel most free? Where is it that you feel alive? Maybe you're on a roller coaster or surfing, hiking, climbing. Maybe you're indulged in a book or watching a movie and playing video games. Where is your happy place? Take a deep breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Simply being present of where you are. Envision that happy place in this present moment. Bring awareness to your hands. How do they feel? Bring awareness to your shoulders. Bring awareness to your stomach. How does the midline of your body feel? And again, take an inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, expand the belly. Exhale, release the belly. When we feel that we've had a bad day, or just hold a lot of tension in our body, it's mainly stored in our shoulders and our stomachs. So focus now into releasing these areas of tension. Bring in your happy place to your shoulders and to your stomach. Notice how your body feels when you're in your happy place. You feel free. You feel free of any tensions and stress. You feel free of any worries. You're simply just present in your body. So again, take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Bring awareness to the midline of your torso, of your stomach, and of your shoulders. And right now, envision a white light cleansing this area, grasping all of the tension that you feel in the body. Allow the white light to release as if it's like a cloud just passing. It's absorbing your negativity, absorbing your tensions, and it'll soon just pass by. It'll dissolve in its own self as it keeps going through the distance. Inhale through the nose and exhale out through the mouth. Let this cloud just pass. One of the most relaxing things that I love to do is just cloud gaze. So simply allow your tensions and your stress be absorbed like a rain cloud and just pass through. Let it pass and let it go. Because you are present in your body right now. You're okay and you're safe. 
and bring awareness back into your hands and just wiggle the body a little bit take about three rounds of breath nice and deeply at your own pace filling the whole body with oxygen filling the whole body with new cleansing energy inhale through the nose and exhale out inhale and exhale So the next time that you feel tension, irritation, or you're simply upset, envision a cloud absorbing this feeling, absorbing this emotion, and it'll simply just pass within a couple seconds. Clouds only stay in front of us momentarily, just like emotions irritations they just simply pass we remember what they feel like we remember the feeling but we don't remember the very exact moment of that feeling when we look back in the past it is simply like a cloud just passing, simply passing through. It will come back in a new form, in a new color, and a new texture. It is always a different feeling because we are evolving and our perceptions are always changing. So in each new moment, the emotion or irritation will be different but it is the way that you react to it in the given moment that holds the powerful meaning to it so simply allow yourself to let go of what is holding you back just like a passing cloud you admire it for a little bit and then you let it go take a deep inhale through the nose and exhale out inhale and exhale inhale expand the belly exhale release and again you could just wiggle your hands and your feet and your body and lay here for as long as you need to and thank yourself for taking a momentary time to be with yourself inwardly, looking in and letting go. Thank you for practicing with me, Monica. Until next time.